Today I'm going to show you how to convert a finished layout into a layout template. This is just my method, so I'm sure there are lots of ways to go about doing this. I'm just going to show you how I do it. So first you can see here I have my layout open and I am just going to save a copy because I don't want to change my finished layout. Okay, so then over here I have all my layers. First I'm just going to delete the extra papers that we won't be needing. So you can see here I have a clipping mask, so I'm just going to delete the top paper. This paper I already cut down to the shape, so I'm going to save that one. And I'm going to leave the elements in for now. Um, let's see, my photo has also been done with a clipping mask, so I can just delete that. Um, okay, so that's good. I'm going to take all these things out of this group because some people can't actually use things when they're in the group. Photoshop Elements doesn't support that, so it's best to take things out. Alright, so then I'm just going to start down here at the bottom. I have this paper layer, and I've already set this up, but up here in my styles you can see I have these different colors, and these will just apply a color overlay. So you see now that paper is gray, and that one is just a lighter gray. So I already set these up because I do this often. And then I just go through and add these layers, changing all the colors. Maybe another color, okay. So you can see this is pretty easy when you've got it set up beforehand. All right, so let's just stop there. Now this next step, I think, is only available in uh, Photoshop CS6. But I've selected all my layers, and I'm going to, um, I'm, I right-clicked, and I'm going to say Rasterize Layer Style. So that just added, it just took the layer style and made it part of the layer. So what I had in the background isn't there anymore. I just have these solid layers. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all of these again and just apply my shadow. So that is basically how I do it. And then I'll go through and rename these layers to be a little more helpful to people. Um, you can do the same thing with the photos. I usually give them a black overlay. These ones have already been done. Um, the last thing, if you don't have Photoshop CS6, um, so I've just done this little brad up here, I've made it gray. And if you don't have this rasterize layer style option, what I used to do, and which is kind of a pain, um, is I'll just make a new layer, and then if you merge them together, it basically acts the same way. So now you just have a flat gray layer. And that is basically how I do it. Pretty simple. The key is just setting up these different layer styles up here. I can show you how to do that too. Um, if I just double click on this layer, I'll turn off the drop shadow because I don't need that. And so I've just gone here to color overlay and I pick out my shade of gray. Say OK. And then up here, if I just click on this, then it will save the style to me for me up here. So that is, I think, everything you need to know to convert your layout into a layout template.